welcome back to Earth's class for five more minutes of math. Now we're continuing our conversation about lines. We talked all about slope intercept form and graphing and standard form, but we haven't talked about how to write down the name or the equation of a line. So of course there are multiple ways to do it. This video is specifically about using now, of course, there are multiple ways like we talked about. Now, you can also start with point slope to write down the equation of your line. But this video is about starting with slope intercept. Now, let's get to it. Okay, here's a nice little example to get us started. So if I wanted to write down the equation of a line with these characteristics, I could use slope intercept form to do that. Now, normally in slope intercept form, you would need the slope, which we have, but you would also need the y-intercept. This is not the y-intercept. How do I know? because x is not zero. If this were the y-intercept, this x value would be zero because that's where it would be crossing the y-axis. But it's not. Can I still use slope-intercept form? Well, yeah. Let me clean this up a little bit and we'll talk about it. Okay, good. So remember, slope-intercept form looks like this. This will be the equation of my line. The slope would go here and the y-intercept would go here. I have the slope, but I don't have the y-intercept. Hmm. But can I use this information? Yeah, I could. Watch this. Remember what that point is. That point is an x and a y coordinate. Can I just replace this x and this y with those numbers? Yes, same with the slope. Watch this. Yes, I can take this y and replace it with that y coordinate. Take this x, replace it with that x coordinate. And take this m and replace it with that slope coordinate. Like this? Yes. And that gives me an equation I can solve for b, and then I'll have all the information I need. Watch this. Yes, exactly right. Now I know what the y-intercept is. So now I can use all of this information now to give me the equation of my line. It'll look like this. Yeah, I knew what the slope was, but now I know what the y-intercept is, and I plugged them both in. Yes, and that will be the equation or the name of my line that goes through that point with that slope. Yeah, let's refresh real quick. Okay, first step. Remember, we're going to take all of our information and plug it into our y equals mx plus b. The slope goes in for m, and the coordinates go in for their letters. That first value is an x, goes in for x. Second value is a y, goes in for y. Looks like this. Good. And then remember, we're going to use that to, yeah, solve for b. Good. And then once we got b, we're going to, yeah, plug my m and my b back into y equals mx plus b. Looks like this. Yeah, and that's the name or the equation of the line that fits this description. Man, I hope that helps. Don't forget, point slope is after this one. I'll check y'all out next time. Bye, guys.